After Seeds Zootopia. Hai este, hai că venim repede portozoa, hai. Hai, go, 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 go. But it's not, it's not at all. It's such a bad day. I'm so, everything, not everything is getting on my nerves. Stuff is getting on my nerves that's making other stuff get on my nerves because I keep thinking about it. I'm going to try and talk it out, I guess. Let's see how short I can get this in. It got to me because it kind of inspired me, but then it fell flat because I don't have a goal. Like, I want to be a cop. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a banker. Something. Like, I don't have, I never had that. I had, I want to be a singer. But the reason I think it never happened was because it wasn't about singing. I don't think it ever was about singing. I think singing is in me and a creative output, a creative need. My goal and dream is nothing that I can, I can't put it in a word. So it just left me kind of inspired and motivated. Like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yes, let's do it. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. He confided in me or he told me all the stuff about them and complained to me about them. But I'm not friends with them since they're not friends with me. They're, we're not close. But yet they're a family. And then he had nothing to be scared of that will it will get back to them. I just was naive and I'm actually not going to I'm not going to apologize or pretend like I have issues with them for how they treated us. I didn't I don't think I said anything bad and it's not something that I wouldn't say to them. I think it's all messed up. I thought it was something I thought I could trust him. I just the way I trust people, I guess, is I trust you until you prove me wrong and Sometimes you don't really realize that you're wrong in trusting someone until way later. And I still don't know. I don't know if I could trust him or not. I'm not perfect and I'm not, I'm definitely not the person who will be everlastingly positive through every situation with full energy and a smile on my face. But I'm positive that I love everyone and I love everything and I respect everything in my own way. I know it might not look like respect, but when I was, um, but I was also thinking about age and already like I was sex at flight. And all I want is to add to someone's perspective like, hey, there's this too. And I just fail miserably and that gets to me. Like you see in movies, all these people who have epiphanies and, and in real life, they it's like the opposite. It just kind of strengthens their reasoning for being or seeing things as they do and more closed off. I didn't want a relationship or friendship or anything. I just wanted that. I wanted more of that, whatever, and whatever nuance it came. I just feel like it was me against um, all of them. And I never even thought of it that way until now. But that's what it feels like. I can't win. I can't. My voice is nothing next to everyone else's. And with the yelling or whatever, raising my voice, whatever I did. I just, I don't have the pain. I snap easily. And that's me. And I was thinking even to say to him, is this kind of why you didn't want to even be around me anymore? Because, because you kind of saw the real me. And there's a lot of things that I think about when I think, why did he want to get away from me so fast? I always wanted, I always wanted to find my soulmate, have kids at 18. At one point, I decided that I wanted to adopt more than half my own kid because, because frankly, my first reasoning behind adopting has been I would have to have a kid on my own. And I don't want to be selfish and go through all kinds of medical things. If I'm going to be alone, if I'm going to not have a family and all that stuff, I might as well find other people who right now don't have a family. So that's why adopt. That's why adoption. That's what I always wanted for myself. My mom wanting that for me made me not want that a little bit, <laughs> Um, you know. Because you don't really, you want to be your own person. And if someone tells you they want something 
for you to be, then you kind of like, wait, no, I, I want to make that decision. So it's like this dual thing. But I wanted that. But I also wanted to, I always wanted to change the world and be a public voice and public figure so that other people don't feel like they're wrong as people, as who they are, because they're different and because they're not as other people ask them to be. Sad people hurt other people. Happy people don't hurt others. Unhappy people do. And unhappy people, they're not only unhappy because of their choices. They're unhappy because of what you did, what I did, what society and other people around them, their families, and other people did. It's not just them. It's This is not on, just on them. I'm so deviating. I'm so making this. But this is what goes on in my head all the time. And this is why I can't express myself really well. And this is why I cry. And why things get to me more than others. Why I can't get over someone who probably didn't even like me. We're basically two months into a breakup of three weeks. I mean, uh, uh, whatever it was kind of relationship. Three weeks and two months, I'm still crying about this. It still hurts. And right now, I realize that he never cared. Because people who care tend to want to work things out. And that's what hurt when he didn't want to work things out and when he said that we would just we're just different and yet I'm still crying about it but that's why because it's so much bigger than just one thing it's everything so connected and I think so much and people who tell me to stop thinking I don't want to stop thinking yeah this is painful this is so painful and it sucks when people look at you weird and funny and you can't really have guys stick around or friends come and like take you out. And that's not truly fair because, again, there are friends who have tried in their best way to make me feel better. And they have helped a lot. I think there's some saying that says that's where compassion comes from. It comes from you being hurt. You relate. Even if it's not quite the same thing, you relate in just the fact that at the base it's kind of all the same yeah okay peace love and compassion also i feel very weak after the movie i started feeling like weak in my hands and like trembling i was trembling even like my teeth were trembling i thought it was because i saw them i just got went into like a little anxiety attack and i still feel that way just feel very weak. I just don't like this feeling. I feel... I don't feel good. I don't feel good at all. I feel just weak and my head hurts. I was watching the last two episodes of um, Yumi and Apocalypse. And I fell asleep at one of them. Like fully. I slept maybe like 30 minutes. I just feel like I'm trembling and I don't feel good. I was looking to see if H replied the stuff I sent him today but he didn't no matter his intentions what he wanted or what he was doing with me no matter what I'm still at fault for not being good enough for anything else than this you know up to like three days ago I when I would feel bad or sick or sad I would want him to take me in his arms like he did when I used to feel bad and hold me with the same but now i don't anymore partially because i think no matter how true it was in that certain second those minutes overall it was a lie and partially that even if it was all true it's not true anymore i want to be loved and i want to be cared for i don't want someone who doesn't i don't really want anyone right now I don't really think I want someone in the future either. I wasn't feeling good at all. And I was in the ba in the kitchen a little earlier and something's not right. I felt like I was going to pass out. Um, they're not like cramps. They're just quite like the stomach flu. I feel I look like that. Oh. Off to the birthday party. Oh, I feel so sad and so sick and everything this heavy makeup will not work for me because it's it looks great on camera and in pictures but not 
in real life it's so cakey and I don't like it and I don't want to try this hard and I'm going to cry and I can't cry right now. Interesting. I wouldn't have missed this for the world, but this will suck because I'm not a social person and in my current mood where I feel like I'm going to cry every second, I'm less social. I just feel like crap. It's not as gorgeous as in person. This is amazing view. It's such a beautiful view. So the party was nice. I am glad that I went. I ate so much cake. I haven't had that much sugar at one time in a long time. Because I was told that I attract people, like pe I draw people in, and I don't think I do. But, and then once people get to know me, they don't really stick around because there's this depression that won't really quit anytime soon. And it's so mixed so well, like cake batter. It's like marble cake. It's like depression and happiness in one. I'm happy, I'm happier than I've ever been in many ways. And I'm sad too. And that's how life is right now. And maybe that's because it's a transition from having been sad for so long to being happy and having my life start maybe, finally. You know, it's a, kind of about time at like 50. 50 <laughs> it's maybe the right time to start at like 30 yesterday i felt old because he kept saying about my age and if he wanted me to feel insecure about my age he succeeded so well i never thought i was 30 before like even today i was at this party and no one would think that i was 30 and i don't feel 30 at all i feel at most 25 i feel like there's just that extra layer of more wisdom and I feel so much younger than I am and I look so much younger than I am it's just kind of you know that conservative ignorant kind of comments and outlook and perspective like what are you talking about what does it matter that on paper I'm 30 just stop saying excuses anyways okay so I am cold I'm going to go I didn't want to say those things. Why do I make life so much harder for myself? I have now over an hour to edit. No. Anyways. Okay. Peace, love, and compassion. Peace, love, and compassion. I'm glad that we cross paths. And if we cross paths again, I will be glad then too. Peace, love, and compassion. I'm so tired. Is it desire?